Okay, there's the sled kind of partially unpacked just to give you an idea what it looked like. Uh, I got my foamy there, about a half inch foam that I'm going to use for insulation wrapped around my stove pipe. Uh, that white thing there is uh, two tarps uh, wrapped inside each other with a, a surplus uh, wool blanket in the middle of it. Uh, and also our uh, DIY uh, takedown stove. It's going to give us some warmth. Uh, that Rapallo there, that's just a flat snow shovel. Okay, so it's about five o'clock and uh, we got our shelter all set up. I thought I would just give you a quick look here before it got too much darker. Uh, but snow's fallen a little bit more than it was before. Not super heavy, a little bit of a wind blowing, but uh, we seem to be fairly sheltered here in the trees. So I'll just give you a little... A little bit of a pan, so that's uh, that's the tarp shelter we got set up. I just got my sled sort of propped up on the one end there. Uh, it's just a, an eight by ten tarp, uh, cheapest one I can get. Cost me about three bucks, I think. And uh, underneath that, I've got a, a six by eight tarp that's uh, it's folded in half actually, so or not almost half. And there's my uh, backcountry shepherd stove. Uh, got a video on the website of how we made that. But that's going to be my my personal heater here for tonight. Temperature's not that cold. It's probably going to get about minus five Celsius tonight. But we got some shelter over us, and I don't seem to be getting any snow blowing in. the The backside is towards the wind, and I got a little bit of that wood that. Uh, we brought over this tree here and you know right uh, right in between these trees you got these these big old trees uh, you know it's in January and that ground isn't even really frozen there so if you want a warm place to to lay down in the woods uh, find the base of three or four big trees those those trees are actually uh, they're they're living so you know there's a certain amount of warmth that's going to be generated so as you can see my my fire's stoking up a little bit there we'll keep that going tonight and uh, get our parka on and and maybe our we can put our Gore-Tex wind gear on if it gets a little windy but I don't really expect there to be uh, too much more wind because we're fairly sheltered in the trees here so just going to uh, Maybe fill up the water bottle here and then climb back under there and we'll give you an update maybe after it gets dark. So it's about six o'clock and we're all settled in. Got a good fire going in the stove and it seems to be working well. Just got the chimney vented out the side. I got my candle lantern set up and uh, Gonna leave that going all night. Brought a couple extra candles. Supposed to get nine hours out of one of those. And uh, truthfully, I just just bought that thing. And so we're gonna give it a little bit of a test. I know those things. I think it's made by UCO. Uh, they've been around forever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give that a little bit of a test for some uh, ambient night light here. I'm far from organized. Got crap all over the place here, but. We'll uh, get that squared away, had a little bit of dinner, and we'll probably just uh, settle in and watch a movie on the other phone. Keep the fire going, and, uh, and just relax. Well, it's about nine o'clock, and so far so good. It, uh, Still blowing and snowing a little bit, but uh, temperature is not too cold. About uh, zero is the air temperature, and I'm sure right beside that stove there where I'm laying on my parka, it's got to be a few degrees warmer than that because I haven't had to put that on yet. So, like I said, so far so good. Uh, got uh, enough wood to last the night. That stove seems to be uh, burning for a uh, a good hour, hour and a half if I stoke it up, maybe a little longer. 
so we're gonna shut her down for tonight keep that little candle burning I got my stainless steel Nalgene bottle on my stove and we'll keep that warm we'll bring it under the blanket if we need to warm up our feet and uh, and call it a night all right if anything eventful happens we'll get up and film it if not we'll see you in the morning All right, so it's about 3.30 in the morning and uh, the wind has been swirling pretty good off and on, uh, gusts here and there. So not getting a whole lot of sleep. Uh, had to close off the one end of the, the shelter. Uh, I've got a mylar coated tarp. I don't know if you can really see that or not, but we closed off the one end because the, the snow was blowing uh, straight down the shelter and uh so that wasn't helping matters much so i got that closed off uh things back under control got my stainless steel nalgene sitting on the stove there had that warmed up a couple of times already to keep my toes warm it's a good uh makeshift hot water bottle in the winter you just put it right on the stove and our candle lantern is still going Although we did change out the candle once, uh, as advertised, we did get close to nine hours out of that. So, uh, bear spray is at the ready, uh, so I think we're we're good to get a little bit more sleep here. Well, it's eight thirty in the morning, and the sun is pretty much up, and we survived the night here and a tarp shelter on a snowy windy backcountry camping adventure uh, stove is still going the wood pile is pretty much gone and there's not much left of the candle in the lantern it's still snowing uh lightly you can hear it kind of on the tent uh, i had a couple of inches overnight uh, but it was kind of more blowing than snowing but our uh, little improvised uh, end cap on the tent there uh, helped a lot for the second half of the night. So got a little bit of sleep, but not a whole lot. So I think we'll wrap this up, uh, pack things up and carry on.